Okay, so there's a couple things I want to care, uh, clarify. Um, so my next speech, if you're interested, is going to be about Yellowstone. And now if you YouTube Yellowstone, you'll get a bunch of these false claims about the eruption. Um, you'll get predictions. Now, currently I have the USGS up on my laptop right now, as you can see. Along with many other articles. And basically, this is one of my big informative speeches that I have to do for my public speaking class. And now, I have one of the questions on this article is, what is the chance of another cat catastrophic volcanic eruption at Yellowstone? Now, scientists who study volcanoes should be taken seriously. Um, I understand that there will still be news organizations, there will, there will, will still be people who say, oh, it's going to erupt on this day, at this time. No, it's not. A, a volcanic eruption is not something that can accurately predict. And many of these sources that predict Yellowstone ig ignore the fact that there is a 1 in 730,000 chance or a 0 .000. 1-4% chance of Yellowstone erupting in a catastrophic way. Additionally, the, the the volcanic tufts that have been formed by the past by the three past Yellowstone eruptions by the past Yellowstone eruptions tend to be formed by two main igneous rocks. Now, those are the rocks that are formed by volcanoes or volcanic activity. First of all, there's a basaltic tuff, meaning now basaltic rock would be found as a shield volcano, like Kilauea, you know, that type of thing. Um, additionally, the second type is rhyolite. Now... Basaltic eruptions tend to be slow, not explosive. However, rhyolite, which is a lighter rock, a lighter igneous rock, that's the explosive. That's the explosive type of rock that would, you know, come up and that's the category, that's the, the explosive type of volcano, volcanic eruption. Now, furthermore, these predictions that say, oh, Yellowstone's going to be a, a, a catast catastrophic event. That's true if it does erupt in a rhyolitic way. However, these geological events that are being predicted every year, they're neither normal nor predictable. And I go back to the previous statement. You cannot accurately predict when a Yellowstone eruption will occur, or any volcanic eruption will take place. You, it's not something that can be predictable, because th there are still things about volcanoes and earthquakes that we still don't know. We know the basics, but, however, if you believe in these videos and these articles, mostly Daily Express, a bunch of these conspiracy theory websites, you know, if you believe that, please look at the actual science. Um, don't, don't believe everything you're told or everything you read. When you read, like, the USGS government thing, it's based on, upon fact. It's based upon numbers and statistics and data and there's a lot of research that goes into a Yellowstone eruption. Now, I'm not going to go into it, but that video will be up sooner rather than later. Next week, possibly. Um, but that's basically what I want to say. Because I feel like there are still, you know, people who think Yellowstone will erupt, you know, tomorrow or the next day. Uh, you know, tomorrow, um, 
I just want to put those crazy conspiracies to rest. Because that's what they are at the end of the day. They're crazy conspiracy theories that have no true merit. And typically, the sources are from these illegitimate sources that cannot be trusted. I read a New York Post article. Yes, they're scary. It's a scary thing. But scientists study Yellowstone. And I feel that if you don't work at the USGS, you still you don't have a right to be interviewed. Furthermore, you know, the percentage I pointed out, and this is on the, the USGS website, so you can make sure I'm correct, that, that probability is the same of that of an asteroid hitting the Earth. Now, asteroids are more likely to occur. An asteroid, a massive asteroid hitting the Earth is more likely than a Yellowstone eruption. I mean, they're, they're equally... They're equally at the same percentage, but you're more likely to either win the lottery or be struck by lightning than Yellowstone erupting. I'll leave you, I'll leave you with that. You're... Additionally, your concerns should be with your life right now, rather than a volcano that's being highly monitored. And we will, we, if Yellowstone were to erupt, we would have decades and decades of warnings. We would. And now I'm going to end it off here.